Hello, I'm Rob Reiner, Tacuum's Director of Product Marketing. Today we are going to demonstrate our latest Prodigy milestone, running FreeBSD on our Prodigy FPGA emulation system, which is running the actual Prodigy design. Let's begin our demo. First, we'll run the FPGA loader to load the FreeBSD kernel using Minicom to access a serial port connected to the FPGA UART. FreeBSD has started booting. The root FS is built into the FreeBSD kernel. FreeBSD is an important part of our go-to-market strategy as it powers a wide range of applications and is the platform of choice for many of the busiest websites and many embedded networking and storage devices. FreeBSD expands Prodigy's ecosystem of operating systems and hypervisors that already include Linux, KVM, and Zen Hypervisor. As you can see, we booted into the shell as a root. We're now showing the FreeBSD version. We've supported the relatively recent 14.0 Alpha 4 since early September of this year. The latest version of FreeBSD 14 is version 14.0-RC3, which we will start using soon. We're now showing the Fortune Utility, which shows FreeBSD tips and tricks. The Cal Utility shows this year's calendar. We'll create a shell script using the VI editor that prints the output Ahoy World. Let's modify the permissions to make the script executable. Now let's run the script. We're running the script through Truss to show syscalls and syscall arguments. Now let's create a backup subdirectory and copy the test there twice and then make a compressed archive of the subdirectory tree. Identify the slash bin slash echo binary showing it is tacky elf64 format and the path to the dynamic linker slash libexec slash load-elf.so. We'll use elf dump to show the internal structure of slash bin slash echo. Let's show the base page size. And now to power off FreeBSD. Thank you for watching our demonstration and please stay tuned for additional Prodigy updates and milestones.